Hey guys, this is the MMA Breakdown, and in this video I'm only going to be giving two predictions. One for the Cesar Arzamendia versus Marco Polo Reyes fight on the uh, Fight Night Monterey Tough Line America 2 finale Magni versus Gaslam card, and uh, I apologize, this is I'm uploading this the day I'm doing filming this the day before that card so probably won't be out till the morning but you know I'm committed to this so I just want to get my pick out there and then the other prediction will be for the co-main event of the following card uh, the fight night soul Henderson versus Masvidal card uh, Don Kian Kim versus Dominic Waters and uh, I apologize that my predictions for both of these cards have been kind of spread out over a few videos. Um, wasn't really my fault, especially for this uh, Tough Land America card. Uh, this Arza Mendia Reyes fight wasn't even announced, I think, uh, up until a few days ago. Because when I did my original video for this uh, a week ago, you know, this fight wasn't here. And then also the bout order for this card has just been a mess. The finale fights from the show. Uh, were originally listed uh, on the fight pass portion of the card and now they're on the main card um, so it's just been crazy and then uh, the Don Ken Kim versus Waters fight I should have done that when I did my prediction for the uh, Henderson Masvidal uh, fight but I just uh, missed that one I forgot about uh, I forgot that Kim uh, was gonna have to get a new opponent there but anyways, uh, let's just do it. So at lightweight, Cesar Arzamendia versus Marco Polo Reyes. Uh, Arzamendia, after his first win on the show, I uh, can't remember uh, who his uh, win was over, but uh, when he won that fight, uh, I thought he was my, uh, er my early pick to win the show. I thought it was a really impressive win. Um, he hurt the guy and early, and once he had him hurt, pounced on him uh, until he put him away and he's a high volume aggressive striker uh, seems to have some power and then semi-final fight with um, Enrique Barzola I thought he was winning that fight early on the feet he showed a great uh, tight clinch he was landing some good knees from that position and uh, really boxing him up inside and then he got taken down and the tables got turned on him um, got pounded out and finished with a body shot uh, that he took from from his back. Polo Reyes, um, his first fight, and again, I can't remember who he fought. Actually, it's right here on the same page. Um, Polo Reyes fought uh, Christian Soto, and then uh, Arzamendia beat Oliver Mesa. It doesn't even matter. You know, those guys aren't fighting on this card, but... Uh, Polareus in that fight, um, he got dropped early and he came back to win it. I was kind of impressed uh, just by his toughness and um, I was able to hang in there and after being dropped, he came back to get the knockout. And then his fight with um, Horacio Gutierrez, uh, you know, he ate a big shot early, went down and uh, Gutierrez finished him off from there. You know, his chin definitely seems to be suspect uh, after being dropped in his first fight and then uh, knocked out in his second. Uh, so I have to go with Arza Mendia, not only because I thought he was one of the standout guys, even though he lost to Barzola, uh, but he just seems to be the more high-volume striker uh, and, you know, hasn't really, hasn't shown any signs of a weak chin. So got to go with Arza Mendia. Um, I think he gets a finish. And then the Don Kian Kim versus Dominic Waters fight. Uh, this is crazy. Um, how did this fight get sanctioned? This this is just ridiculous to me. Uh, you know, Dominic Waters when he came back to fight uh, George Sullivan back in the summer. You know, I didn't I didn't think much of it then. You know, I thought you know that guy's an also ran from uh, Tough Sixteen, lost to Mike Ricci. And uh, somehow he ended up back in the UFC, and he got trashed by George Sullivan. Uh, you know, George Sullivan uh, never looked so good in the UFC. He dominated him, was all over him. Uh, you know, he couldn't deal with him on the ground. Uh, 
you know, almost had a Kimura at one point, and I mean, for him to to lose like that to Sullivan, and it, you know, it was short notice, but really doesn't matter at all. And to now face a guy like Kim, he's just going to get buried. Um, you know, Kim's an elite guy. Uh, you know, he's, he had that stretch where you know he was trying to become a he was trying to fight like a, a crazy man. Uh, you know, getting knocked out, throwing a spinning back fist on Tyron Woodley. Uh, but he went back to his submission grappling, and you saw that in the Berkman fight. Uh, finished him off with a head and arm choke. I still think he's uncomfortable on the feet when he's being pressed. He's hittable. He kind of shuts down when he starts eating shots. Uh, but, you know, what's Dominic Waters going to do to him? He's going to have no problem getting him down, and then he's just going to pound away, and I think he's going to submit him. Uh, first or second round, definitely take it to the bank. Um, so there's just no way that Waters wins this fight. Uh, you know, I know I was wrong about uh, Holly Holm and Ronda Rousey, but uh, I don't care. I'll say it again here. Uh, Kim is going to absolutely run over this guy. Uh, it's going to be ugly, and I really think uh, the commission has to take a good look at themselves after this one because um, Waters, is uh, he's going to get hurt. All right, so those are my two predictions, and sorry that they're so late, and sorry that, uh, you know, these two cards, uh, I'm sorry that they've been a mess and my picks have just uh, you know, been scattered across several videos, but um, thank you guys. Just recently hit uh, 250 subs, so that's really great. You know, of course, I'd like to, you know, get in the thousands someday, but uh, thank you to all you guys who uh, watch, and um, now I'm going to do my predictions for uh, the Nami Yunus Van Zandt fight card. So uh, see you guys for that one. Uh, bye.